morning and welcome to cloudy Winnipeg. Our walkers came about oh half an hour ago maybe a little more and they left but no sunrise. Okay we have a rollback here for you this morning. I did uh, well I I guess the rollback, I was going to say I came back to the model table, but that's not where I did the rollback. Uh, well, you know what? Why don't we just uh, not talk about it? Why don't we just roll back and see how it goes? Oh, what I will do is for anybody who's not interested in what you're looking at, I'll put in the bottom of the screen where you can scrub ahead to get back up here to the model table. Now don't let the wide angle lens fool you. This place is a lot smaller than it looks. I, for all the stuff I got, I need a, probably three times the floor area than I've, that I've got. So uh, yeah, I just thought I'd throw that in. Now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut everything up down here and take the pieces upstairs and assemble the, the parts on the model table. We're talking about pen turning, right? Okay. Pretty well everything on this on this cart is uh, is pen turning stuff. Um, yeah. Probably half of it I don't need, but you know how it goes. Normally, I would hook this hose onto the dust collection uh, unit of my of my big lathe here. So I'm gonna I have another uh, dust collector that's uh, only one horsepower. My big one that you probably can't see over there is, is three horsepower. But I can I can lug my small one upstairs, and uh, hopefully I'm gonna be able to use that. Otherwise, I'm gonna have little wood chips all over the place. Almost everything is on wheels. It has to be. It's like I wheel it out and use it and then wheel it back. One of these days I'm going to take a month off and clean this place up. <laughs> Now, I realize that a person can buy a proper stand for your miter saw, but I had, I had more fun making my own here with the swing out wings and it, it works pretty good. Okay, I'm just going to take a few minutes here and get myself organized. I like to use the uh, dust collector in conjunction with this thing because uh, otherwise it throws sawdust all over the place. Oh, talking about air cleaners. This is a, an air cleaner kind of like the one upstairs at the model table, only it's a lot more powerful. 
<laughs> okay, and it, and it works really well. Okay, let me shut up here and uh, I have to get my 2 by 4s downstairs here too. They're all still at the top of the stairs. So, uh, yeah, I've, I've got a little bit of uh, work ahead of me here yet. <laughs> I brought only six of the eight two by fours in here. I think that's all I'm going to need. And we are just about ready to go here. In 11 minutes, I got to uh, I got to upload the uh, today's model ship episode on Jim Steen's. Um, uh, one 200 scale model ship club. So I don't want to get too involved in here yet because if I do, uh, oh my goodness, Jeff, I'm still wearing your Bismarck shirt and I'm down here in my dirty workshop. Well, we can get that changed when I go up. Anyway, I have a tendency to get really involved in something and the time just goes and I, I don't notice it. So I'm going to pause here for a few minutes and uh, yeah, but we're almost ready to go. Well, here is what's happened. Besides, almost two hours has passed. Yeah, I came upstairs, changed my shirt, uploaded the uh, episode onto Jim Steen's Facebook group site and uh, oh, and I checked the video that I shot downstairs. That took about half an hour, I guess. Anyway, when it came to t the time that I could go back downstairs and saw my boards, uh, you know, I, I just wasn't feeling like it anymore. I was feeling a little bit tired, a little bit achy. <laughs> and uh, uh, you know, I've said this many, many times. If you force this hobby and make it work, you're good. It's not going to be fun, and uh, yeah, there's there's been lots of times that I've that I've quit when I could have kept going, I guess, and uh, but then I would have been forcing myself, and uh, I think probably a lot of these big kits have ended up in the dumpster uh, because people just didn't take their time with it. They didn't, <clears throat> you know, didn't take the time to enjoy it. Now, <clears throat> don't worry, I'm not going to throw this in the dumpster. I am enjoying it. And I think the reason I'm enjoying it is because I'm taking it easy with it. I just do it as I feel like it, which some days is pretty much all day long, off and on. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to go back downstairs this evening. Uh, we're going to leave it for the morning. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you in the morning. Okay, it is morning. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do one cut on camera. I think I probably have to cut about a dozen pieces. That's about it. It's going to be uh, fairly simple. Uh, well, you'll see it when it's done. Let's get at it. I, I don't think my hose is going to catch here. No, just, just going to miss it. Okay, the hose is going to catch some of the stuff and the dust collector in the back there is going to catch the real fine stuff that floats around in the air. Do I need to go into these details all the time? No. Okay. Okay, it's about to get really noisy in here.
Well, I got all the dimension lumber cut up and uh, I was able to get away with only using four of the two by fours. And uh, I think I'm going to have a bit of a change in plans here. I was going to take it upstairs and assemble it up on the model table, but I'm thinking that because I'm going to be wanting to use my uh, pneumatic uh, nailers, I'm going to do it down here. Um, so all I have to do now is bring my glue that I have upstairs back down here. And also I have to, uh, I have to cut the uh, plywood for the back and for gussets for the sides just to give, give it a bit of rigidity. And uh, drill some holes where I want to put the screws through. Uh, but that's going to be about it for today for the, uh, for the uh, model ship sprue pen. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see you upstairs. Okay, I got both sides glued on now. Just finished doing it actually. Now, I don't see any reason why I can't take this apart and uh, do our number 19, XF19 thing. Um, yeah, just going to be super careful here. Okay, I'm uh, basically all set up to spray here. Uh, but then I was wondering, is it possible that we are going to be needing some more pieces that should be painted to 19? Because... And yes, there are uh, for step 24 here, the E21 and E24, uh, <clears throat> they, they're they going to have to be painted to 19. They're part of superstructure or bulkheads. And uh, as near as I can tell anyway, now there are, there are six little pieces that get stuck on the side of it, the uh, J4s and J9s, uh, but they will probably be a darker gray which I will probably just do with a, with a brush. But I'm just going to quickly get these uh, 21 and 24s and, uh, and then we can do them all at the same time here. Okay, now do we paint one side or both sides? I'm pretending like I don't know. I already did put this one on a little while ago. Okay, so it fits like there. We take the other one. I'll, I'll, I'll zoom you in a bit. Okay, we stick the other one on. Get it in place. You can clearly see that the uh, this this is going to form part of a splinter wall, so it it also has to be painted. So I may as well just paint both sides. I know that the painted side won't stick very good, but uh, it'll be okay. But but they fit really nice. Yeah. Okay, I want to use Chris's clips here to hold these up. And uh, you can see here where the clip is going to mask a little bit. Uh, now it doesn't matter because we're only going to be seeing this top part anyway on the back. And on the front here, I can I can touch this up. And, you know, being as it's the, uh, the 19 is the same color as the plastic, we're probably not going to even notice, you know, that it's been masked a little bit here by the clip. Anyway, I think we're just about ready to, you know, spray here. About half an hour ago, I shook these up and, uh, actually two or, two or three of these I've, I've shaken up and, uh, I've made one good one out of, out of the three. And I've thinned this down a little bit here. It looks it looks about right to me. You know, I just realized I didn't, uh, I didn't check the pressure on my compressor. I better go do that right now. It might still be from when I was back flushing from the last cleanup. 
Okay. I didn't spray any paint out of it. I just released some air and then adjusted the regulator. And I've got it adjusted to, I'm guessing, about uh, 15 pounds or so. All right, now we'll try and keep everything right underneath this thing. At least that's the plan. Are we ready to go here? Do I need anything else? Maybe my, my toothbrush, just in case I have to scrub out the end of the, the nozzle. Okay. Now, are you going to be able to see everything? Just let me check the monitor. Okay, I'm going to be working right there. I'll move you in just a little bit here. All right, get this out of the way. And uh, where's the center? Okay, there's the center right there. All right, let's get our fan going. How am I going to hold this now? Always something, always something. Okay. That should work. Okay, here we go again. Now I'll just do the inside first. Check. heavy there, didn't I? Kind of running. Story of my life. Okay. I'll try and get the inside of the windows first. seeing any uh, brass photo etch glinting there so I think I got the inside pretty good we're not gonna be able to see in there anyway okay here we go
clean up the airbrush and uh, I think I've got everything. Just, let me, just want to double check this. I'm pretty sure I got it heavy enough here. If I twist it just right, it reflects the light that's coming over my shoulder and I can sort of see where maybe I need more. I think I, I think I've got it all. We're not seeing we're not seeing any photo etch anyway. We're not seeing any brass. It looks like all one piece. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, it's going to be kind of hard to, to pick these up here. I think the paint is basically dry, but uh, not quite. However, the one in question is is this one right here. So I'll, I'll try and move you in a bit here. I'm just watching in the monitor, so I'm hoping I've got it in focus. Okay, I, I think it's okay. I, I think it's I think it's good, and it'll look even better once it's mounted on this piece here. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody, and all being well. We'll see you tomorrow.